All right, hey everybody. My name is Nathan Check. I'm from Omaha Central High School. Oh, that was weak. Okay. And the title of my poem, well, it's an ode to my beard. You have many names. Face fungus, wild whiskers, rebellious bristles, seductive stubble, face forest, crumb catcher, suburbs of the chin, magnificent cheek moss. This is dedicated to you. You are the one thing that has made me realize what it truly means to be an adult, or at least look like one. <laughs> Without you, I would be half the man I am today. You have brought me one step closer to looking like a professional lumberjack, because we both know, we all know, that, <laughs> that beards dramatically increase wood chopping abilities. <laughs> Without you, I would be diagnosed with a severe case of baby face. And now that I think of it, many great men in the history of this earth have had beards. Abraham Lincoln, the members from ZZ Top. And let us not forget about Chewbacca, whose beard covered his entire body. <laughs> Hopefully, in two years, I'll be able to reach the beard level of a wise wizard who loves adventures. Gandalf, I am coming for you. <laughs> but you are so much more than that. You are the camouflage that conceals the acne that plagues my teenage face. You are the confidence that supports my weakened smile every time I feel like I am not good enough. And I must admit, I used to shave every two days because my ex-girlfriend couldn't stand to feel my stubble when I kissed her. And so she stopped letting me. But to the girls who would make me choose between them and my bushy friend, I hope the door doesn't hit you on the way out of my life. <laughs> I remember when you first started spreading your infant follicles outward from my upper lip. Oh, how the seventh, seventh grade boys awed and gawked at me with jealousy. Oh, how the girls trembled in terror. I remember when the principal of our private Catholic middle school, who enforced a strict shortcut hair slash school uniform policy, came up to me and told me, I, um, I've never had to tell a student this before, but I am going to have to ask you to shave. <laughs> Now, to me, this sounded nothing less than a declaration of war, and I was ready to go to battle. You see, my beard acts as a homing beacon, attracting the jealousy and the admiration of the beardless. To my mother, who calls me her beard, black bearded baby, that is the only nickname out of dozens that I'm okay with you saying in public. <laughs> to my father, who says that I don't look like his baby boy anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm growing up faster than you had hoped for. I'm sorry that I'm going to college and that I cannot take you with me. When you asked me to shave for my high school graduation ceremony, I was reluctant to agree to your terms and conditions. But then those words echoed through my head over and over again. You don't look like my baby boy anymore. And that's when I realized that some things are worth sacrificing just so you get to see the warm smile of a loved one get spread across their face. So I am proud to say that within a few weeks, I will graduate with a diploma and a clean-shaven face just for you, Dad. Because I will always be your baby boy. So maybe this isn't an ode so much as an ode. Like, it's not an ode anymore. Maybe it's just a eulogy.